In ancient Persia, there lived a sultan who had an only daughter, whose beauty was like moonrise in a clear heaven. Now it happened that the sultan left his kingdom to fight in a foreign land. In his absence, the princess fell in love with a young traveler who climbed the palace wall to see her. This did not please the Sultan's Grand Vizier Jafar, who meant to marry the princess himself. Seizing power, Jafar had his rival thrown into the dungeons, but the young man escaped and struck down the evil magician. When he learned of his vizier's treachery, the grateful Sultan offered riches but the stranger requested just one reward. And so the young lovers were wed and they lived happily, well, for eleven days. One morning, as the prince stands before the doors of the throne room, a coldness like a shadow passes over him. As he approaches the throne, he feels the eyes of the court upon him. The princess and sultan stare at him. Princess, says the prince, why do you look at me so strangely? How dare you speak to the princess? Guards, seize him! Seize him! Don't hurt him! He's just a poor mad beggar. After him! Don't let him get away! Don't worry, my dear. He won't get far. The prince leaves Persia as he arrived. A stowaway on a merchant ship. Known to no one 
scorned by all. After him! Don't just a poor mad beggar. Go! Seize him! Meanwhile, the Sultan's enemies are marching against Persia. No sooner has the Sultan left for battle than the new prince seizes power. Dear father, my heart is broken. The prince has betrayed your trust. You must return with your army and take back your throne. Oh, no! 
News of the princess's sudden illness stuns the kingdom. Amid growing unrest, the prince declares martial law, and a reign of terror is loosed upon the land. Your bride is dying. Waste no more time. Come to me.
once, this was a great city, ruled by a son of kings. He was slain, and his palace laid waste by the armies of darkness. I died at his side. You alone were spared, my son. I gave you up that you might live. This was your father's sword. Avenge us. Avenge us.
لون وألفرك وألفركي
With the sorcerer's death, his spell was shattered. The princess looked upon the prince and saw once again the man she loved. This time the prince took no chances. He ordered Jafar's ashes scattered to the winds. The people rejoiced. And the prince and princess dwelt together in joy and serenity and lived happily ever after.